back, Gilly launched the newest crossover into the market and it has been the talk of the town ever since. Everyone was talking about the cool parking feature, the touristic camera and a lot of other cool features that this car has. If you don't know Gilly, Gilly is the largest car company in China. Gilly owns Volvo Motors. Gilly also owns the electric car manufacturing company Polestar which is also under Volvo. Gilly has a 51% stake in Lotus Car Company, which is a sports car company. It also just recently acquired a 10% stake in Daimler Motors. So this is a very, very big car company. And they've come into the crossover market to change the narrative. So Gilly said this car was crafted for your driving pleasure. And we're going to find out if that is true when I give this car an in-depth review. Now, this car looks really, really sweet. It also looks really cool, and maybe that's why it was named the Cool Way. So this is a Gilly Cool Way, and I'm going to review it now. But this is also Gilly Cars. And if you just stumbled upon this video, this is your first video on this channel. We do car reviews and other car contents. So make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and turn on that bell icon. So when I drop a new video, just like this one, YouTube notifies you first. So let's get to it. <music> So this is what the back end of this Gilly Kuwe looks like. Now, what will really catch your eyes at the back is this. It has this huge, aggressive rear spoiler. And it's going to see from that end, you're going to see S boldly written there, also on this part. And it signifies sport, S for sports. So this car has three main trims, the comforts, the premium, and the top of the trim, which is the sport plus, which is what I have here with me. And it looks really aggressive. There are lots of features in this car that makes it look really aggressive. Starting from this, you have quad exhaust and these are actually fully functional quad exhausts. You also have a diffuser here that's made of carbon fiber. Wow! <laughs> you would not expect to get this kind of exhaust and diffuser on a small crossover but the Gilly Motors puts it there. Man blow it. So you also get this cool ray boldly written here and what they like about this cool ray is this. These two O's that are here, they kind of brought them together and that looks like the infinity sign. I don't know why they did that, but I really like the touch there. You have Gilly all written here. And you have these chrome strips that go around the trunk and into the rear lights. And you can see, it looks really good. It looks even better when it's on. So come to this side. You're going to see you have a small mirror here. And it's actually open from the inside. So you can see from that part. So it gives a better rear um, visibility for the driver. You have a two-tone coloring on this car. The top here, you have black. And down here, you have the main body color, silver. And I think it looks really good. But although it looks better in the red, so you get a white, a gray, a blue. I've seen the red, but the red looks better on the Sports Plus trim. Now, you also get keyless entry, your key. You just touch on this sensor here and it will unlock. And down here, you have, you get this plastic kind of um, addition to the door. Then when you come and look down here, you're gonna see a side skirt. And this size kit is made also of carbon fiber. So I like how they've put carbon fiber in most parts of this car. It's going to reduce the weight and going to make the car actually very, very rigid. You have this body line, as you can see, all the way from the back to the boots and down to the front. Now, you don't get too many body lines and creases on this car, but this main bold one makes it look slick. That would be the best word to use, slick. Here you get an 18-inch cool looking um, alloy rims and I think this is just a perfect fix for this kind of a car. If you have a 19 or 20, I guess it's just be like an overkill or something. Here, you have carbon fiber all on the side mirror here and it's also a heated side mirror. Comes with a chrome in it 
and side blinkers. Now come to the front. That is where this car has all its beauty. Now this is called an expanding Cosmos grille. And I love the touch of red they put in here. <laughs> yeah, I think this touch of red is on all the trims, even the comforts and the premium, but it makes it look really sporty. Now you get the huge Gilly badge here. You know, I would actually prefer if they put the colored Gilly badge, the one that has the green and the yellow. This one is, ah, should I say minimal? What word should I use for it? But it's actually look better with that logo. Now you have a front camera here, and this car has cameras also on the side mirrors, cameras at the back, and that gives you a 360 camera right on the inside, on the reporter main screen. But I'm going to show you that when we get to the center console. Coming down here, you have a front lip, and it's made of carbon fiber. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, this front end looks really good because of how this front lip complements the front end of this car. You have um, fog lights here. You also have a kind of vent here. And these vents actually are functional because you can see it has a small opening here that takes air from the front of this car all the way around the tires. And this will really help for aerodynamics. You get daytime running lights and full LED lights that shine really, really bright at night. You also get some sensors here and all the way in the bumper, front bumper and the back bumper. And this is what helps you with your parking sensors and all of the um, sensors you're going to use for like um, fall collision and the rest. I love this hip right here. And as it comes into this part, it just integrates into the body and kind of disappears. So I love how it's not all boxy. Now this small touch on this body of this car makes it look even better. So I guess that's basically all you have on the outside of this car. You have kind of a roof rack here, but it's not a roof rack. It does, it's kind of an addition to it. We well, can't call this a roof rack. And up here, you're, gonna, you're not going to see it well because it's totally blacked out. You get a panel roof and it looks even better on the inside because it gives that, it makes you see a broader scenery of the outside when you open it and you're inside the car. Now, take a look at the key. Now, I love how this key looks, see? I don't think I've seen a better looking car key than Growing this. Up, we all had this mindset that Chinese products would have poor quality and would eventually break, but not inside this car. Yes, this is a Chinese car, but the quality in here was not compromised at all. Everything in here feels really, really decent quality. Starting from the door, you can see here, you have this, it's called a brushed silver kind of accent here. And this is the handle and everything. I'm not hearing any creaking sounds. It feels really rigid. And you have the door latch integrated inside. As you can see, it's actually plastic, but it feels like metal because the quality is really nice. Down to the leather right here on the armrest, everything is padded. You have stitching, everything is in good quality down to this part also padded so the quality is kind of pretty decent down to the buttons here where i can use to control the side mirrors and the windows and everything feels decent as you can see everything's working pretty fine and this doesn't look like it's going to break in the next five or ten years so the warranty is actually following with the car quality now down to the front you get this this two-tone coloring that repeats on practically everywhere on this car starting from the doors you have a red and a black kind of leather it's all soft touch down to this part also you have like 70 to 80 percent soft touch materials right here in the front starting from here this is soft touch leather you have the brush same brush aluminium accent here and this is also like soft touch and everything feels really really nice inside of this car if we go down to the chairs also you're gonna see the same thing here now it has a two-tone coloring also now this sports seats feel really comfortable to sit in as you can see it has some kind of clothes also with leather and the both styles will hold you in place also like this s that's embroidered here because this is the sports plus trim of this car so i like all those small small touches it really means a lot down to the front they have um gilly's logo bold here although i said i also like if it was actually colored <laughs> but it still looks really good i like how it's shiny at all you have a d-shaped steering wheel as you can see this bottom is just cut off and it's like three spoke it also comes with paddle shifters and all the buttons here feel really good to touch because it's all nice quality also you have this one here for audio controls and this one here is for cruise control even the stocks feel pretty nice to use and see really really decent in the front you have a seven inch instrument cluster 
for the driver and it's in really really high definition and when i change this to sports plus when i click on this button right here just take a look and see how the display is going to change now Ooh. now it shows that this is sports plus got red and everything with just one click on the button and with this you'll be able to have access to this paddle shifters right here to downshift and upshift when you come to the center console everything is pretty nice you have this floating 10.25 inch infotainment screen that feels really responsive to use this is on standby now because i put it on standby in case i don't want to be disturbed and i love the way it is floating right here so when um, the sun's light is coming inside the car it doesn't reflect on the screen and you get to see everything clearly even on the sunniest of the days so when i click on this middle button here this power button it comes to life and now when i go to home you have apps that you can use so as you can see like I said, it's really responsive to use. It has Bluetooth also, and uh, a lot of other features here, like blind spot monitoring. Uh, you can edit a lot of things here. You come down here, you have buttons here for climate control. You know, Gilly said this is a dual zone climate control car, but it's not. So when I try to adjust this right here, you're gonna see it's gonna affect that one too. So it's kind of, it's not uh, dual zone climate control, but uh, that shouldn't really be a big problem. Down here, everything looks kind of minimalistic. They've tried to reduce as much buttons as possible. Now, these buttons remind me of the ones in the Porsche. So, you have Echo, you have Sports, you have a Hero Descent Control, a 360 camera, which I'm going to show you in a while. You have the parking assist, which I'm also going to show you in this video. And uh, this is to activate parking sensors. You have a um, parking brake here, and you have some kind of small, small cubby spaces in here. Uh, not meant to put my key in here, but there's something here maybe for my phone something like this mm, is this for the phone i don't even know but you can use to put stuff like maybe your card even though that might get stuck inside you also get a space here down here you also get a copy space and you have a 12 volt outlet here and two usb ports right here and right there and this also has hand sanitizer in it because there's corona out there so make sure you sanitize your hands so I like how they put this kind of, well, I call it a bar. So it's kind of telling the passenger here that, hey, this center console is meant for the driver. Like it mimics the cockpit of a jet, of a private jet. So it's looking like the driver has to control everything here and it looks really, really nice. Here you have this event that looks funny. <laughs> it looks like a fish opening its mouth. <laughs> it looks really funny, but I like it. I really like it. You have a decent amount of cubby space here and it's all, Gilly products in here so let me just shut that up now i love how this feels this is padded also for your arms and it's all mumbo jumbo inside here so i don't need to show you that there is no charging port inside here you also get a panel roof that you can see right here and i love the way how it stretches all the way to the back so you can see and it kind of gives you a broader view of the environment when you're driving it's really really epic i really like it what's this dangling about this looks like arabic i don't know where it is but anyway salam alaikum to my muslim viewers out there hi to you guys now would this slide ah no it doesn't slide so this is just covering some parts of the uh window and talking about the window i look how it's kind of very very long now it doesn't just stop all the way here it goes all the way so it gives you a lot of visibility on the outside and as you can see as i move my seat back i still have enough visibility when i want to just maybe look around and look at what's happening around my car so i'll just tilt this and this would open all the way nice i also love the feel of this roof here it feels like cloth now let me show you the 360 camera i was talking about with a button here so what you can do when you just click on this button and click now it shows you your 360 camera now it shows that this door is open right here when i show the 3d and it kind of <laughs> it looks like a, like, like a page from grand theft auto and the quality is pretty decent so you have cameras on the side mirrors and at the back like i said earlier and also at the front and that will give you a 3d representation of your car it also shows the color of your car so this is a gray car i'm in right now and it's showing the gray car right here and when i twist i said when i touch the screen i move around now i can check how clear the parking lot is and how i can move out and everything is actually 
pretty, pretty nice. Now, a car is passing by, and I guess we're going to just see it right now. You can see? Ha! And it's not even lagging. So you have um, different ways you can use change this. So you can check the side, the other side here. You can check the front. Let me check something. Let me check if on the front the lights are going to blink if I turn there. Why are you turning? <laughs> when I turn the... <laughs> it's going to actually turn... Oh! That's just pretty decent. So you also have this here. And you can change the views also here. Now this is the back. This is the back. And this, Okay, this is the back. This is the front. This is the side. And this is from the rear side view. And that's just pretty nice. Now when you go to settings, you can change the car color settings. You can change the 3D sound effects and a high speed steering linkage and low speed steering linkage and everything. That is just pretty decent. You have two other buttons here and this is for media volume. Let me go back and show you that. See, I can increase and decrease my song or anything that's playing, my radio. And you have this caution button, this right in between this Ace events. Really, really nice. Now, this car has enough space sitting at the front here is actually decent space for a crossover this small and this guy is not boring at all like at all so if i was to pick between our toyota rav4 and this gilly Kure, because of all the cool features how cool this guy is looking this guy looks sporty i'll surely pick this over the rav4 the rav4 might have a little bit more space and because it's a toyota we have that toyota is reliable and all but i will surely pick the Kili over it because this car would also give you a five years warranty because the drivetrain and everything will serve you for that long. So now let me take to the back. Let me show you if this place will all cramped up right at the back. Let's hop into the back. Now I noticed one thing up here. As you can see, as I pull this um, roof up, there's something like a net here. And I think it's kind of blocking dirt, dust or rubbish from entering into um, the car because it's open right now. So this car has an exceptional design and stepping into the back, it kind of repeats itself here, just like the front. You have speakers here and you have a decent sized door bin. Yeah, this is with small bottles. I think it's two small bottles and that's just, just fine. So you also get Masopio style pockets here. And now, now this um, seat is in the position I was in when I was in the front, so I had enough space there. And right now at the back, I also have decent headroom, sorry, decent knee room and decent headroom also. I'm impressed, I'm really, really impressed. I thought this car would be like cramped up because of how small it is, but no. So you cannot put the floor down a little bit. Even if the floor is down, you still get a 196 millimeter ground clearance. So it's high and perfect for the Nigerian road. So you don't have to scuffle the under of your car under really high bumps that we have in this country. So when I close it up, it has decent soundproofing. Now, this car has practically no hump right in the middle. So sitting a third person wouldn't be an issue at all. Even if the uh, middle seat is kind of hard because of the armrest that's here, you get just one USB port right here. And when I bring this down, you have a couple of others. So now when I put this, where's my bottle? <laughs> when I put this here, it's actually kind of loose, but it will hold it in place. So I don't think it's going to fall off when you're on bumpy roads. And that's just nice. You also get this. You pull this up and the leather here feels really good. You also get isofix points here for your child seats. Really, really nice. Now, I'm really impressed about this car. Now, if you take a look at this, I told you about a small mirror. And as you can see, it's right here. And I also like how the trunk is covered so you don't people don't get to poke into your load that's in your trunk from the outside so it only opens when you open the trunk and did i mention that the key has a release button for your trunk so you don't need to use your hands and stress yourself pretty pretty easy right here at the trunk you have practically decent space and if you even need more space in the trunk you can just bring down the seat so it gives you a 60 40 um, split seats and it doesn't go all the way to the floor it's not all flat but you can actually just slide your bags in there and as you can carry enough of your cargo unless you're carrying the whole world in one bag i guess there's practically no space underneath here you have um your tools your jack and there's one small thing here and i just figured out what this can do come see this is to remove 
the leads from this. Just do this and you pull it out. <laughs> so if you want to uh, change your tires, you have to just get the stuff and pull everything out. Then you cannot lose um, the bolts and the nuts um, from here and do what you want to do. So just put this back in and secure it in place. And make sure you put it in tight so it doesn't fall out on the road. Because imagine you have those three there and two uh, are lost. It's going to look ugly in your tires. <laughs> so let me just put this back. So let's talk about power, the power of this car. So right underneath this hood here, you have a 1.5 liter turbocharged direct injection engine. And it's a three cylinder engine that puts out 177 horsepower and a 255 Newton meters of torque. So this car can go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just seven seconds. Let me illustrate that for you. Just watch. So let's take this on a drive. Let's see how the driving experience feels in this car. So let me just trap on my seatbelts for safety and put it to drive. And let me just use all my, my pack um, 360 camera. So now I can see around my car before I move out. And I'm sure no one is coming from there. And I can gently move out of this parking lot. So let's go try out the um, parking assist in this car. Now we're out here at an open parking lot and we're going to just go around. So when I click on this park assist button here, it gives me an option, vertical parking, parallel parking and parking out. So I'm going to use the vertical parking and I have to just keep moving. And it's going to alert me when it gets a place to park. It's going to use the sensors and the cameras around to kind of look around and look for an empty parking space. What I have to do is just move slowly and drive forward. So it's going to kind of pick, uh, it's going to pick somewhere to park. And it's gonna notify me, so I'm gonna just slow down. I just let the car do its thing, you know. Okay, I'm meant to drive on the left. Okay, let me go and turn all the way here. Let me turn here. And now what I have to do is just drive forward and go slowly and let the car pick a place for me to park. Um, it's not sensing anywhere yet. Someone's on my back. Yeah, I have to just apply brake. Let me allow this man pass now. As I applied my brake, it has beat me that you are seen somewhere to park. So I just have to apply the brake and long press this button. And now you can watch the steering wheel is going to do the turning. I'm going to release the brake and let the car do its thing. And you can see here, this is the camera and everything. So I don't have anything to do here. I'm just going to watch. And I'm going to try to be careful so it doesn't hit another car. But this car is smart enough to note that, so I shouldn't really be scared. So, my, but my foot is on the brake for an emergency. I just have to be very careful. Now I'm looking. So now he has to go forward. I'm not going to apply any pressure on the brake or the accelerator. I'm just going to let the car do its thing. Please release the brake, and now it's going to go. Okay. When is it going to go front? I'm scared it's going to hit something at the back. Oh, that was smart. I'm scared. Is there something at my back? Okay, parking is completed. So this was very, very fast and very, very smart. Even though my heart was beating, I was trying to be very careful so it doesn't hit anything. It parked me in this parking lot really, really fast and really, really um, precise. Now you see, when I go to the um, 360 camera, you can see how this car is parked in a very, very straight line. As you can see, it is very, very, very perfect. Now, I really love this feature and it's really going to be helpful for people that don't stress themselves when they are parking a lot or maybe the lot is kind of tight and you feel you can do it yourself. Now, this is where tech comes in. So let me just go away from here and I'll show you what this car can do. And I guess if you want to buy, if you haven't thought of buying this car, this particular feature would be a uh, go ahead for you i'm sure now i love driving when the street the camera is on it has like a very kind of game game view and it's really really funny so i would prefer to drive in this particular view yeah
So a very special thanks to Guinea Muscles and Meccano International for giving me the opportunity to review this beautiful Guinea Kube here. It's a very, very perfect crossover and it was actually really crafted out for your driving pleasure. So you should really consider buying this car. Come check it out at the showroom.